I, I think Raheem Sterling should start. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You're, 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 you're looking at me, you're thinking, you, Harry, of all people, say Raheem Sterling should start. And yes, <laughs> it's time. Oh, and I'm worried. I'm really, really worried as Chelsea ready themselves for our biggest game of the season so far. Arguably bigger than the Carabao Cup final. Of course, the winner of the FA Cup does secure a qualification place for the Europa League. So there are certainly huge implications um, as it may ease the pressures of our league position. However, the FA Cup final does take place uh, about a week or so after the conclusion of the Premier League. So it's not really an option to bank on that, especially given our record in finals as of late or semi-finals or Wembley as a whole. Um, I'm so zoomed in. I do apologize. I'm literally just right in your face. Um, in today's press conference, uh, Pochettino said that the players had been practicing penalties, which not what you want to hear straight off the get go. Oh, I mean, obviously, it, it, it's a necessary activity in the build up to a knockout fixture. But I hope it doesn't reflect on the pitch that the players are aiming or have been told to aim for penalty uh, penalties in order to progress. Um, it just would make for an incredibly boring game. And I'm not immediately being negative. I'm just saying it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility for Pochettino to go out there with such a game plan. Cold Cold Palmer will, of course, be the centre of attention in this fixture. Coming up against his former club for the third time this season, the 21-year-old has obviously had his big impact both this season as a whole overall, uh, but also in the two games in which we've played Manchester City this campaign as well. When asked about the player... Um, sorry. When asked about the player, <laughs> Pep Guardiola insists that Palmer wanted to leave for quite some time and that he tried to, he tried everything to keep him from going. He said um, that Palmer or he was asking for two seasons to leave Manchester City. I said, I, I stay. He wanted to leave. What can I do? He's an exceptional player with super potential. I didn't give him the minutes he deserves that he now has at Chelsea. Will he play a pivotal part in tomorrow's game or today's game when, whenever you're watching? Well, <laughs> the pressure is certainly on him to perform like he has all season, but, but, but he's worked so well in high intensity situations so far. I feel like he plays better when the heat is on uh, rather than in some maybe smaller games where he's kind of shut down a little bit or just not quite been his uh, impactful self as much as he has been in more uh, sort of high intensity games. He's already bagged a 90th minute penalty against Manchester City in the past. For him to perform well in this game, you think that he can't wait to get out there. Uh, crashing out of the Champions League just a couple of days ago, it surely stings a bit. Um, uh, surely still stings a bit. And for many, the worry is that they will be looking for blood. Uh, I thought this would be the case for sure in the, in the, in the, in the moments following the full-time whistle in their game against Real Madrid the other day. However, when thinking about it, there, there's such a small gap at the top at the moment in the league and uh, with players literally asking to come off in their midweek fixture against Madrid, surely fitness is looking like a bit of an issue. Kevin De Bruyne, Haaland, Akanji, I think was the third player in that list of players who wanted to come off before um, uh, extra time. And with the focus for City surely being on that fourth consecutive Premier League trophy, being the first to ever do it, I can't imagine their whole focus will be on the FA Cup. So really, I don't actually see them playing a full strength side. Now, I mean, realistically, that doesn't mean a lot. It's obviously a, t a, a, a toss of a coin. Um, that said, fixture congestion isn't really a problem for them anymore with the lack of Champions League football. Either way, their second squad isn't exactly a poor side either. So regardless, we are up against it. 
Elsewhere, we've seen fitness-wise of ourselves, James return to training, whatever that means. Uh, likewise with Enzo, Robert Sanchez. However, I think it's unlikely that we'll see any of these players play. Same with Nkunku, will not feature as well, I don't think, uh, despite being impartial uh, team training. Colwell was issued a blow as well to, uh, to a potential return to, um, you know, be able to, to, to come back in time to feature in the game. He will not partake in the uh, game at all. In terms of our starting 11, what does that mean? Personally, uh, I, I see no reason to change what worked so very well against Everton. And I know it's still sort of like this, oh, it's just Everton. It's just, it's 6-0 it, it's six -nil is 6-0. Six -nil. Not only did we, did we score six, we got, we got a clean sheet. Those are two things that are very rare for us. We, we might have scored six against Middlesbrough, but we didn't keep a clean sheet. We looked good. The link-up play was fantastic. The, 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 the camaraderie was good, although apart from the penalty incident, which they're still banging on about, um, but hopefully, <laughs> you best believe, you best believe if we get a penalty against Man City tomorrow, Cole Palmer, <laughs> he ain't letting go of that ball. There's no, there's no way in hell he's going to let go of that ball. Um, but again, I, I, I emphasize, I don't think there's any need to change the starting 11 for the most part. Let me, let me, let me, just, let me just land for a second, as the, as the youth say. That said, if Enzo is fit enough to go and is available, for me personally, I don't think he needs to start. I think we go with majority, again, majority, the starting 11 that we had against Everton. But I doubt we will see him start on the bench if he's available. For me... I'm staying the same. Petrovic in goal. Gusto and Kukurea on left and right back. Uh, on the side of defence with Chalaba and Silva in the middle. Maybe, just maybe Badia Shil. However, it is a big game. It's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a stressful situation. He's just so prone to making mistakes as of late. We cannot afford one in this game. And he can't afford one in a game of this magnitude in terms of his confidence moving forward. In midfield... I think just keep it, Caicedo and Gallagher, personally. Madueke on the right, and I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Can you work out what I'm about to say? <laughs> I'm going to say it. I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I think... I, I think Raheem Sterling should start. I know! I know! I know! I know! I know! You're, 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 you're looking at me, you're thinking, you, Harry, of all people, saying Raheem Sterling should start. And yes, I know, it sounds absurd. It sounds crazy coming from these beautiful lips. But listen to me. Let me land again. Let me land again. He's bagged in both games against City this season. I don't think Mudrick is any threat whatsoever to the likes of a Carl Walker at all. So why not Raza? Why not play Raza? Never thought I'd say it. It's an ab it absolutely makes sense, though. It absolutely makes sense. In the middle, I think Palmer would be great even though I prefer him on the right. And Jackson up top, the shithousery alone will aid us a great deal in a game of this magnitude. And so predictions-wise, whilst I let you get over what I've just said there, predictions-wise, whilst I think I'd be crazy to predict anything other than a draw and that it obviously will go to extra time and penalties, um, as that's all we seem to have seen this season, uh, I, can't, I can't stress enough with spirits undoubtedly low in the City squad, many would argue that that would be uh, of, of a benefit for us. However, I don't quite see it that way. I don't really think there will bear any difference um, on their mentality in this game. I think City will be up for it. I think more, more up for it than ever. Uh, and whilst their, 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 their major focus will be on the Premier League, sadly, I do not think it will be anything other than a fairly convincing result from the current champions. That said, I do think we will put in a valiant effort and not in, uh, the boys gave it everything. I think it'll be a good game. I do think it'll be a good game. I think the, I think the boys will give it everything <laughs> and it won't be an embarrassing game. I'm hoping. I don't think, I hope that it won't be. Um, but, but I think a solid 2-0, maybe 2-1 for City. I don't know. I, I, it's unfortunately my prediction. I, I really truthfully hope I am wrong. 
Uh, with that said, let me know your predictions. Uh, has the idea of playing at Wembley affected your confidence as much as it has mine when Chelsea play there? Let me know in the comments down below. Please like the video, subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss a single bit of content in this um, end to the season that is very quickly approaching. Euros as well. I'm going to be doing Euros watch-alongs every single day. I'll be doing at least one game over the Euros period. As always, my name is Harry. Up the Chelsea. A piece.